when it comes to immigration, there are some key points that need to be made intellectually as to the issue. According to the Census Bureau, there are currently 40 million immigrants living in the U.S., 12 illegal, the rest legal. Each year, we admit another 1 million permanent immigrants and roughly 700,000 guest workers. Most Americans, when polled, want to see immigration cut. Would you support a cut to immigration rates, a freeze to immigration rates, or do you think immigration should be expanded, and if so, how? No, I think it should be completely restructured. Um, first of all, we don't control who's coming and going in this country. And in the 21st century, when you have drug cartels south of the border, when you have international terrorism, it is a serious national security threat. So I think the first thing that goes without saying but is worth repeating is you've got to have a system to control the border. Now, we could go on for six hours about what you need to control the border. And from talking with the Border Patrol and talking with experts on the border, you've got strong opinions of this. Second thing, you need interior enforcement. If you can get a job in this country easily as an undocumented illegal immigrant, then you'll get one. And there'll be a a magnet to come here illegally to do that. So you have to get it at interior enforcement, which is, I think, at the employer level, with the kind of technology we have today in the 21st century, we can easily have what we call an e-verify system. And there are alternatives to an e-verify system that are more decentralized so that when a person gets a job, they really have to prove that they are who they say they are and that they're here legally. If you have that kind of a system in place, which we have to, and I think we can, then you dramatically reduce the incentive to come here illegally. Third thing is 40% of the undocumented immigrants are visa overstayers. People come legally, overstay their visa, and we have no clue whether they stayed or left the country. That's ridiculous. We ought to have a tracking system so that we can tell whether they came or went. But on legal immigration, we have what people refer to as a chain-based chain migration system where you can get visas based on relations with other people outside of the nuclear family our immigrant system our visas ought to be given based on what the economy needs we've got a labor shortage in wisconsin for dairy farmers hospitality workers you've got agricultural workers in california you've got some software engineers you need you ought to have an immigration system that moves with the economy's needs where if if americans there are not enough slots to fill those jobs then you can supplement it with 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 immigration, which actually helps your economy. With baby boomers retiring 10,000 people a day, about a 90% increase in the retirement of, of Americans, but only a 19% increase in the workers following the end of the workforce, in about a decade, we're going to need people to fill unfilled jobs. So let's reorient our immigration system to reflect that. Uh, Microsoft, you talk about yeah. tech industries, recently announced that it was laying off 18,000 workers. At the same time, the very same company, Microsoft, is lobbying for more guest workers yeah. to fill IT jobs. Byron York and the Washington Examiner wrote that many of the same companies lobbying for guest workers are laying off Americans. Which would be better for America? What do you think? To reduce the intake of guest workers, put Americans into those jobs, or to increase the intake of guest workers even as Americans are being laid off? No, I, I don't think you should make this an either-or kind of a thing. You need to have an immigration system that's more clear and honest, which is, If there is an American that can and does and wants to fill this job, then no visa is available for that slot. We can do a better job of doing that. We don't target this well. That's why. Selective. We're talking about being smart and selective. Yeah, be smart and selective, which is if someone who is here can fill this job, is available to take this job, then you cannot have a visa for that job. You've got to fill that domestically. But I've got to tell you, there are sectors and jobs in this economy that are going unfilled. Just I just met with a bunch of Wisconsin dairy farmers the other day who cannot find people to do the jobs that they need being done. Um, so they do need some immigrant, you know, seasonal workers um, to come and fill these things. So we got to be better targeted, and it's got to be market-based. That, isn't, that means don't have some crude government system that says, here's how many you get, even whether there's a person in America or not. It's, it's, if this can be filled by a, uh, an American, then no visa is allowed. If it can't and you can demonstrate it and prove it, show the need, v- show the need then you can have the visa.